What's up, you guys? Josh Tongley here. Today, I want to talk about how to never worry about money ever again. Challenging the belief that you got to have money first in order to reach your goals. And of course, how to keep money flowing to your life, the trend surfing way. Because I know money is a very sensitive topic for some people where just the mention of it, there tends to be this heaviness and anxiety that creeps in. And trust me, I've been there. Shoot, I remember the days when we barely had enough just to pay rent. Yet I'm saying and having sleepless nights, wondering how the heck we were going to make it to the following month. But thankfully, you guys, not anymore. Because once you understand how the energy of money works, then by the end of this, you'll never feel the need to go chasing after it ever again. And you can learn more about this from Vadim Zeeland's book called Reality Transurfing. You see, the problem is that a lot of people have fallen for the myth that in order to achieve your goals, you got to have money. Now, do you believe that? And if you do, ask yourself, why? And yeah, I get it, we live in a world where money talks, right? It's a universal means of rewarding people and paying them for what they do. And it can also buy some pretty nice things in this world that we live in, since almost anything can be bought and sold. But according to Vadim Zeeland, there's a hidden danger in this, believe it or not. Because once you begin to put money way up there, where you begin to idolize it, then yo, in Vadim's words, you'll switch to a lifeline that lies far away from your true happiness. And don't worry, I'll explain more of what that means in just a bit. Now, I know you'll hear people say things like money's not a big deal to them. But for real though, really? Are they sure about that? Because when you look at their lives, it obviously is important to them because they're busting their asses doing jobs that, listen, they don't really love. All because of the money. Now look, this isn't a message about how being poor is spiritual or that money's bad or any of that nonsense. I'm also not saying that only a few people get to experience true wealth and be pullers. You know I'm saying? Now, dude, the point is that like with everything in life, even when it comes to money, there's got to be balance. There's got to be balance. Here's the thing. Zealand points out the fact that it's almost impossible to avoid having a dependent relationship on money. Why? Because it's very hard to love money without wanting more of it, right? And so all you can really do, he says, is attempt to limit the aspect of dependency to a minimum. For instance, if money comes to you, be happy about it. That ain't hard. However, don't kill yourself worrying about not having enough of it or even spending it. Yes, even spending it. Otherwise, you'll have less and less of it. Some of you listening might be like, what? Think about it. Haven't you noticed that the people who constantly complain about never having enough tend to what? Never have enough. Why is that? Zeeland says that fear represents the most energetically intense emotion a human being can experience. Did you get that? Fear represents the most energetically intense emotion a human being can experience. And so when you fear losing money, or you fear that you're not earning enough money, here's what happens. You end up shifting to lifelines where you really do have less and less money. You'll live in that reality. Now, what are lifelines? He explains it like this. There's something called the alternative space where this 3D physical reality we live in now ain't the only reality that exists, folks. And that there's an infinite field, an information structure as it were, containing all the alternatives of all possible events. Basically everything that ever was and everything that ever will be, including your desires. And so think of a lifeline as scripts, as sets of scenery that are more or less uniform in quality. And since life is pretty much a chain of cause and effect, whatever your thought energy is focused on, let's say poverty, well then, there's going to be an effect to it, where you're going to shift to a lifeline and get the things that correspond to that thought energy, which is what? A lifeline where there is no wealth. Is this making sense? Here's an example he gives. Imagine what he calls a have-not person. A have-not is someone who's shopping somewhere, counting every single penny they got, trying to save and spend as stingily as possible, constantly complaining about how everything is so freaking expensive. Know any of them? What's their focus? Abundance and prosperity? Nope. Their thoughts are focused on one thing, and that one thing is this, that there's never enough. There's never enough money. And so they shouldn't be surprised when their thought pattern manifests into physical reality. Remember, the world is like a mirror, you guys. The world is like a mirror. It reflects your relationship to it. 
plain and simple. So if you want to change your reality about money, then what do you got to do? You got to change your focus. You got to change your focus. Here's how. Don't think about the money you don't have, okay? Don't focus on your lack. But instead, think about the money you do have right now and enjoy it. Because believe it or not, you'll always find something in your wallet or in your purse, no matter how little it is. And also keep in mind, things could be worse, right? So just chill and relax, you guys. Take a breather. Look, if you don't have the cash to buy a particular thing right now, it's all good, dude. Don't even spend time regretting it. Zealand says to just put it off till later because you know, based on what you're focusing on, that the funds will somehow appear. It's like taking the position of a gambler who could at any moment just as easily hit the jackpot as lose everything. Point is, anything can happen, folks. Seriously, anything can happen. And I'll never forget this one interesting encounter I had with a group of strangers several years ago when they contacted me one day and I had absolutely no idea who the heck they were. They were familiar with my work and wanted to meet me in person, even willing to hop on a plane and make it happen. Long story short, we met up at a restaurant and talked for several hours, and they shared amazing stories of how money just came to them in unexplainable ways. And I'll never forget what one of them said to me. He said, Josh, people use the money they have and decide what they want. We decide what we want, and the money comes. Boom. Let that sink in. Which brings me to the next very much misunderstood topic of money and your goals. And if you get this, folks, I'm telling you, dude, it changes everything. No joke. You ready? Vadim says that above all, start moving towards your goal. Just go for it. And then check this out. The money will follow automatically. In other words, money is not the goal. It's not. Nor is it even the means to reaching your goal. Rather, money, he says, is simply an accompanying attribute. Money is simply an accompanying attribute on the path to your goal. See, let's be real. Ultimately, the goal is what you really want in life, right? Not the money. It's just paper. It's the experiences you're after. Like maybe you want your own house, or you want to travel the world, or become a movie star or whatever. And yeah, certain goals can be achieved if you have a bunch of money at your disposal. I don't deny that. In fact, this is what the majority of people do. They go after the money first. But then what happens? And this is what's sad. They end up shifting their focus and replacing their original goal with the artificial substitute of money. They lose what they wanted in the first place, their true purpose. And they forget about their dream because they're working for someone else's goal. Somebody else's dream. Question, with your limited time here on earth, do you really want to live like that? Honestly, I mean, you can if you want. No one's going to stop you. But if you don't want to live for someone else's dream and you don't think you got enough money to reach your own goals, then what's the solution? It's simple, you guys. It's just that people don't believe it's possible because of the lies we've been fed. But here's what you do. Ready? Drop the condition of trying to get rich first in order to achieve your goal. Straight up, Zealand says, drop it fast. And here's an example he gives. Let's say your dream is to travel around the world. Okay then, immediately you might think you got to save a good chunk of money in order to do that. But think differently this time. Here's the paradigm shift. Don't think about the money. And once again, you're probably like, what? This time, no matter how quote-unquote unrealistic it sounds, keep your thoughts on the original goal. Focus on your goal. The money will come to you. Sounds unlikely, yeah, according to what we've been told. But remember, money simply an accompanying attribute. And once you adopt this mindset, yo, you'll realize that this stuff stinking works. It really does. And I can confirm this. So don't go chasing after the money, you guys. The money will follow you as you create the path to your goal. See, that's the beauty of it all. You get to reach your goals and not have to worry about the money, which is a good way to live, don't you think? Because it's sad how much we can stress and fight over it. And like I mentioned earlier, don't worry about spending your money either. Okay, don't have any regrets, especially if it's part of fulfilling your goal. Here's an eye opener. When you try and save up a lot of money, yet spend as little as possible, guess what you'll create? You'll create a strong excess potential, meaning there'll be all this energy built up in one place. And if you remember what I talked about in my recent videos, 
What happens when there's imbalance in your life? Balance forces come into play to correct the imbalance to a place of equilibrium. So in this case, when you save up so much money, yet spend so little of it, Zillin says you'll most likely lose everything because money should be spent wisely to keep a flow going. It creates movement. Funds flow through a pipe, he says, not through a reservoir. See, excess potential appears when there's no flow of energy. That's why it's good when wealthy people keep supporting charities because it reduces the excess potential of their accumulated wealth. All right, real talk. Now, you're watching this video for a reason. Like maybe you're struggling with money at the moment. If so, don't be hard on yourself, okay? Trust me, I've been there. I know what it's like to feel inadequate and to lose sleep because you're worried about how you're going to get by. Or maybe you're stuck in a dead-end job that you don't like just for the money. And you're wondering if you'll ever be able to live out your dream. Look, whatever your situation is, I believe things will get better for you. You know what I'm saying? That's why I made this video. It's a very different perspective, I know, but it works. Just change your relationship to it. For instance, Vadim says that if you see a small coin on the street and you're too lazy to pick it up, it suggests what? That you don't respect money at all. And so if you don't respect money, how do you think it'll be reflected back into your life? Greet money with love and attentiveness, he says. Treat it carefully. And remember, if a goal is truly yours to have, you will receive it. You guys, you will receive it. Just focus on it. Focus on your goal. And don't worry about the money. It will come because you get what you believe. Yeah. Alrighty, guys, in case you haven't heard, I'll be doing a live coaching and QA session soon. And so, if you're interested in that, just click the join button below. And if you enjoy this video, please do me a favor, like and share it because based on the algorithm, it gets more people to discover my work, and of course, it also helps spread this message. And I'd love to hear your experiences or questions in the comments. Hit that subscribe button and the bell right next to it to be notified of my next video. I pump these out every single week so you don't want to miss them. And don't forget to register for my free online training where I dive deeper into how you can start manifesting the life you really want right now. So check it out. The link's in the description. Like I always say, more is coming. Till next time, I'm out. Peace.